So today I'm going to be doing a review and a demo of the Tony and Guy Deep Barrel Hair Waver 32mm in black. I have been loving using this. It's been kind of my go-to hairstyle when I want to do something special with my hair to use this and give myself really wavy hair. And I also thought it would be helpful because the first few times I was using this, I definitely wasn't using it properly and I was getting weird kind of kinks in my hair. For anyone that has this and aren't maybe quite sure how to use it, this might be helpful. So it's really simple to use. It goes up to 200 degrees Celsius. Yeah, degrees C, degrees Celsius. And that heat is variable depending on how much you spin this little thing here so I usually have it like fairly near the maximum which is 25 I'll usually have it at about 21 so just about there hope you can see that so other than that to set your temperature the other controls you've got is this little one here that basically is to close the tongs so tongs I don't know if you call them tongs so if you set if it's on zero and you put it to one oh oh no that's actually the on button yeah honestly I promise I know what I'm doing kind of <clears throat> it's actually this <laughs> this one at the back here so it's now glowing because I have turned it on now it's this little switch at the back so as you can see it's on unlocked right now and if I close this and flick this down, it is then locked. I don't think you should have it locked when it's turning on. I don't know, it just seemed... I don't know, I don't. I'm not sure about that one. So that's heating up. It might make a noise when it's heated up, I can't quite remember. So I've set the temperature. I'm going to put that somewhere safe to heat up. And you don't have to do this, but I am going to section my hair for this one, because that's what I do when I want it to look wavy all over and make sure I haven't missed anywhere. So I'm going to take the very top layer of my hair. And I think I'm going to do three layers, so I'm going to just above my ears now. So I don't actually think this gives an indication when it has heated up. It's pretty fast though. Like I, I always start using it maybe two minutes after I've turned it on. So I take sections about this big. If you want your hair really wavy, maybe a little bit bigger than this. Like, yeah, that, that much, that's a bit better. And you start at the top as close to the roots as possible, but be careful, it's literally hot all the way around so it's got these like rubber bits to so you can stand it and things but it's really really hot <laughs> and then you literally just clamp it in like that at a 90 degree angle I guess and I hold it for about three seconds and then release but keep a hold of your hair as you can see there's a wave here that this has created and you want the top part of the waver to kind of slot into that bit and that way it kind of continues the wave so I'll show you and hopefully it'll make sense from there yeah that's the best way I've found to use it it has just created a really nice kind of snaky section of hair so it is really easy to use it's just getting used to it really just touched my neck and also the ends of my hair they take so much less time to curl so I don't clamp it for very long at the ends of my hair that's the, that bit done and I thought I'd just mention that I did use some heat protection spray the one I used is the VO5 heat protection spray yeah, which you can use on wet or dry hair. I don't really know if that spray's any good. So if you guys have any good heat protection spray suggestions, I would really appreciate them because yeah, I really don't know. Ow. I keep burning myself. I really don't know if that one's any good. When I'm trying to do this properly, like today, um, I've let this section down but I'm actually going to tie up this section that I just did so that I'm not overlapping it and it's not getting in the way. 
but as I said you can absolutely do this without sectioning or using clips or anything like that by just using the waver through the lengths of your hair yeah I think it still looks really really beautiful I'm trying to remember the amount of time I recommended clamping this down for I think I might have said three seconds but it definitely completely depends on how big sections that you are putting your hair into and if it's damaged like the end of the hair I would clamp it down for maybe two seconds but up here like I'll probably have that clamped for up to 10 seconds because it's a really thick bit of hair that I'm doing So guys, that's an example of what I did the first time I started using these waivers. Can you see there's like a kink there? I mean, it's... yeah, no, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of what happens if it's not quite overlapping and not following on quite right. But to fix that, you can literally just go over it and try and line up this top bit of barrel with this bit of hair like just before it goes wrong and clamp that down for a few seconds okay and that looks a little bit better yeah I think we can get away with that I'm just gonna do that again I'm sorry hair yeah that looks better. I don't think I'll do the end, I think that's fine. All fixed. <laughs> when I do this, I'm always like, ooh, I kind of want short hair now. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I go short? So I'm just taking out the other sections. So I do like to run my fingers through it a little bit, but yeah, I try not to do this too much because it will start to look frizzy. So this is basically it. Yeah, it's just, I've really been loving having quite intense wavy hair recently. And yeah, I thought I'd share this. It lasts really long as well. I don't know if it's just because of my hair being so damaged it does tend to curl really easily and stay curled for quite like until you wash your hair basically after like a day or two it does kind of you know go down a little bit but it's still very distinctly wavy it doesn't like completely drop out of my hair so yeah I really hope this was useful and if you did like it make sure you like the video and subscribe that'd be fantastic to support my channel but thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.